My name is Jeremy Fry from ProImmune, and in the next few minutes I'll be uncovering details of how to rapidly characterize T-cell epitopes using physical MHC peptide binding assays. Firstly, a brief introduction. Antigen-specific T-cell responses are initiated when peptides from an antigen are displayed on the surface of major histocompatibility complexes, or MHC. Typically, proteins that are derived from inside the cell such as those from virus infection or tumor antigens, are presented as short 9 to 12 amino acid length peptides on MHC class 1 to CD8 positive cytotoxic T cells. On the other hand, proteins that are extracellular in origin, for example bacteria, are presented on MHC class 2 molecules as longer 12 to 20 amino acid length peptides to CD4 positive helper T cells. There are several reasons as to why it's important to know what these peptides are that drive the immune response. Firstly, knowledge of these T-cell epitopes allows monitoring of specific CD8 and CD4 T-cell immune responses to improve our understanding of basic immunology or to see the effects of vaccination, for example. Secondly, incorporating this knowledge in the design of vaccines or other biological therapies to specifically include or exclude the parts of the protein that the immune response is directed towards depending on what our desired outcome is. This makes them safer and more efficacious as their content is better defined and such evidence can be provided to regulatory agencies. Thirdly, in understanding the MHC restriction of different peptides, we can also improve the design to enhance or limit immune responses to, to specific population groups expressing different MHC profiles. This is particularly important in some diseases where there is known to be a strong association of specific MHC alleles, such as several autoimmune conditions. ProImmune's Reveal and Prove platform is an epitope discovery service that is modular in design. Firstly, overlapping peptides from a protein or protein region of interest are synthesized. These peptides are then analyzed in a physical MHC peptide binding assay against your MHC alleles of interest. These are selected from 20 MHC class 1 or 56 different MHC class 2 alleles. Each allele is run against a positive control binding peptide that is either a known T-cell epitope or has strong binding characteristics for that allele where a T-cell epitope is not known. Test peptides are then measured as a percentage of binding compared to that of the positive control peptide. For MHC class 1, there is the option to then generate a panel of MHC pentamers from all hit peptides identified. This is known as Module 3. These flow cytometry staining reagents can then be used to validate T-cell epitopes, confirming the presence of antigen-specific T-cells in your sample of interest. Furthermore, for both MHC class 1 and 2, we also provide our Module 4 rate assays. These enable a more stringent selection of HIT peptides to be applied based on their ability to stabilize the MHC complexes. Long off rates are indicative of good T-cell epitopes. The principle behind the assay is that recombinant MHC molecules are incubated with individual test peptides. Upon binding of the peptide to the MHC complex, a conformational change of the MHC takes place. This change is measured by a conformation-specific antibody in a quantitative immunoassay. There are two components of the assay. The first is the Module 2 binding assay in which the assembly of the peptide to the MHC is measured. The second is the Module 4 stability assay in which the complexes are heated to 37 degrees centigrade for 24 hours and the amount of complex remaining after that time is quantified in the same manner. In this slide we present a case study in which 44 peptides from the HIV gag protein were screened for MHC binding to B3501 using the ProImmune Reveal binding assay. Out of 44 peptides screened, 12 peptides shown here were identified as HITs binding to B3501. On the right-hand side of the graph, we've plotted the B3501 positive control peptide, shown in green. Following identification of these 12 HIT peptides, we analyze these sequences in the quick check rate assay to determine the stability of these MHC class 1 restricted peptides. Of the 12 HITs, two peptides, peptide 1 and 8, shown here in red, were shown to be stably bound to B3501. We synthesize these sequences as MHC pentamers to confirm the presence of antigen-specific T-cells in B3501 positive patient samples. 
In staining patient samples with the Pentima, we see no staining in the MHC allele mismatch negative control in the left-hand plot, whereas a strong and clear antigen-specific population is observed in the upper right quadrant of the right-hand plot. This was the first time that a B35-restricted HIV gag epitope had been described in the literature. So compared to the more classical strategies of functional T-cell assays, such as Ellispot or proliferation assays, proimmunes reveal improved not only means a vast saving in precious cellular material, but it also takes just four to six weeks to complete, including full peptide synthesis. More details of our proimmune reveal improved system, including publications, case studies, can be found on our website. Please feel free to contact us if you would like a sample report of this service, or if you would like a quotation, or if you have any further questions. Thank you very much for listening.